Hey guys, your boy B. Mice, and welcome back to the Luton Town Vikings and Pirates crew mode. And what an episode that we had in the last episode. I'm saying episode a lot right now, but this is it, guys. This is it. Thank you guys for all your support. We smashed over a, I think a thousand. Did we get actually? We get a thousand on Luton Town, and this is episode 26, which is just incredible. I remember when I was happy that this series hit 400 views per episode and now look at this the channel is growing and i cannot say thank you enough to all you guys all you be weirdos out there come on let's throw it up let's be weird let's be weird <laughs> up in here and now as you can see we are in it to win it guys we sit in third place with only four points behind chelsea is there a possibility of taking the title this season oh well we do have a quarter of the season left so we will see how it plays out but now look at us mighty mighty Luton town how far we have come and we're here at Kennewith, and oh my goody goodness, look at Real Madrid, look at our, our stands, this is the one thing that I want to point out, our stands aren't even big enough to actually do the proper, like, graphics and stuff that you do on, like, FA Cup, look at it, they got those little lines, you see the mini, mini Luton Town thing in the background right there, and, uh, like, at one of our ends, and look, oh my goody goodness, it's... It really is, I can't stress enough. Look at this, look how tiny our symbol is. It's not even like pixel art worthy over here, but look at, Real Madrid must just be out of their heads right now. Like, what are we doing here? What is one of the biggest teams, if not the biggest team in the world doing at freaking Kennewith? And oh my god, how far we've come guys from League Two to here. With some of the best young talents in England. Look at that team. Dominic Solink, Raheem Sterling, Damare Gray all day. And freaking Jordan Ibe out on that left wing. And oh, oh, the traveling, the traveling Real Madrid fans in there strong. <laughs> Just look at their lineup compared to our lineup. Benzema, Ronaldo, Bale, Rodriguez, Modric, Lucas Silva is probably the only one that could possibly uh, be at our roster. But they would get the first chance on. And there we go. It's flicked over. Sergio Ramos is knocked down by McNair. But now he's getting in. Cristiano Ronaldo is going to play it in. Back to Sergio Ramos, who's now on his feet. Plays it over to Luka Mondrich, who plays it over to Marcelo. Great little one-two tasking. Looking like Barcelona. Benzema gets a little bit of space. And now he gets it off to Bale. Who? Oh, my goody goodness. That's it. That is it. That is freaking it, guys. I've, I've stuck up for him. I've defended him. And he's been our boy. But ever since, I don't know what Shaka did to this kid, but he is hot garbage, man. He is just hot freaking garbage. Stuart Dover, what are you doing? Look at, this is, this is the camel that, that, that broke the, uh, this is the camel that broke the other camel's back. <laughs> but now we got Damari Gray. Come on, you can do it, boy. He has been our MVP this season. He is taken down. And Sergio Ramos has given up a pen. And we're going to go ahead and step up. Dominic Solank, top right. And Casillas going the wrong way right there. And we are back in it. And it is a furious first half for us as we go down early. But we are able to respond well at home. But unfortunately, we do give away the away goal to Real Madrid, which could end up being deadly. But now in the 74th minute, Tamari Gray latches onto it. Skits past two defenders and then powers it past Casillas at the near post. That was an odd, weird Oh, just strange set piece. Just like we drew it up, I guess. That was so weird. It, oh, as you can see, it hits Samari Gray on the chest. Is able to get past Sergio Ramos and Pepe. And then eventually, um, Casillas, Iker Casillas right there. And we get a win! But, very crucial, Real Madrid getting the away goal in that match. And then no rest for the wicket. Three days, and now we're up against Manchester City, who sits in fifth place. But a large, large seven points behind us now. Could we extend that lead right here? Ibarbo is through at the death of the halftime, but right at Joe Hart. And we are able not to convert. And would that come back to haunt us right here as we cannot get a hold of that ball? And it trickles right to Fernando. And he gets a last second winner up against Luton Town. And we'll close that gap to four points. A crucial win for them at home at the Etihad. And a crucial, crucial loss. What happened there? Tired legs. Defenders coming up at the wrong moment. And Stuart Dover not making a save. Surprise. Surprise. I think I might have made a crucial mistake not pulling Courtois from Chelsea during that pre-contract. That would have been pretty awesome. 
But now look at that. Stuart Dover just steps up, then floats back, then it is in no man's land and just stands there and looks at it. Amazing. But, I mean, just poor defense all the way around from everyone on the team, and we give up a last second win. That one hurt. That one hurt. And we are going to have to respond. Remember, Real Madrid has the away goal, but if we can get an away goal, that would make it a commanding lead right here. Dominic Soleg is going to give us that away goal right there. What a little bit of tricky one-two give and go passing right here. Floating right into space. Sergio Ramos steps up and he is paid. Ah, paid crucially. And look at that. Beautifully pings off the post. Well done. Sliding, tackle, shot, OP. Shout out to my boy T-Ray all day. And there we go. We get three goals and that crucial away goal, which means it is pretty much done. <laughs> and that is why I went to this formation. I go to little Pokemon wall and saw five in the back. But yeah, there we go. Stuart Dover actually doing something correct for once. And he is just going to run around, run around. And we are through. We have defeated Real Madrid. And their all-star lineup can suck it. Ugh. You can suck it all, guys. And there we go. 3-1. We are through on aggregate. Oh, my goodness. Did we just beat one of the best teams in the world? I think we just did. I think we just freaking did, guys. But now we're back into it. Back into the regular season. And, uh, yeah, this happened. Ah, 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 ah. I should really just play the Benny Hill music as this is freaking gone. All right. I'm uh, mashing one. Just uh, mashing Y, mashing B, I'm mashing A, I'm mashing everything right now. Uh, yeah, we run into each other as we try to clear. And of course, Stuart Dover doesn't come for it because, yeah, he's great. And we lose, guys, two back-to-back -back losses. Remember, we were within strike conditions of the championship, I mean, uh, uh, yeah, of the league title. And then to make things worse, thanks, Patty. Thanks, Patty. He's, he's done. He says he's done. Uh, put me on the transfer list. I know we just beat Real Madrid. And we're challenging for the league, but yeah, just just put it. So I was like, yeah, screw you, screw you. I'm done. I'm done. I'm gonna put you on the transfer list. But I got a cooler head. I thought about it. I'm gonna put him on the loan list. Go ahead and try to loan him out. Bring him back in. Usually that kind of glitches glitches him back into like, oh, I'll stay at the club. I'll stay at the club. So we will see if we can get a hold on him. But now, as you can see, we have dropped all the way down to fourth place. Uh, now three points behind. Manchester United in the fourth place slot, and then we're against our arch nemesis in North City, and we find ourselves conceding for the fourth game in a row. Oh my goodness! No, not fourth game in a row. We didn't concede up against Real Madrid, but yeah, North City again. Our bugaboo team. You knew this was never going to be easy in the rain at Kenilworth, and freaking they score. They strike first. And yeah, Stuart Dover making uh, an amazing save. Come on, buddy. Just try. That's all I ask. But now we're going um, on to it. You go, Devontae. Gets taken down. And another penalty. And this is our bread and butter and a poor penalty at that really, really late challenge. Really rash challenge by the Rooster Penner, Dominic Stoneling. The Chelsea man stepped up top right. And there we go. Something about we hit him with that last second shot clock cheese. And that would be enough to save ourselves a point, guys. But we have yet to get a win in this episode in the Barclays Premiership. And now we're into the FA Cup up against Liverpool. And then we were the first ones onto the attack. Nothing much happened in the first half. But then we get this shot off and Ross Barkley. <sighs> I have to say, Bentaleb and Ross Barkley have been some of the most disappointing ads. I thought they'd be banging in goals all season. But they just seem to miss more than they make. So I was really stressed. I was like, come on, Barkley. You can make that one. You could definitely hit this one. And he does. Puts us ahead. And that one goal would be crucial as we defeat Liverpool in the and advance in the FA Cup. It's weird, guys. But it's, it's very apparent that in all these big games, we are able to go ahead and put get wins together. Because we're starting our A-teams in the FA Cups. We're starting our A-teams in the UEFA Cups. And we're not starting our best teams in the lead guys because we had a little bit of a lead but look at this <laughs> Stuart Dover just gets enough that we we're able to parry it away and then 71st minute so like is free on the way hits over to Benton Lab and apparently he's been hearing me talk all this shit about him and Ross Barkley as they get to score back-to-back -back games they are the ones that will be scoring crucial crucial goals for us as we get the away goal right here but hopefully we do not 
lent this set and we do not give away in a way of like in a way gold to AS Roma pasty pasty AS Roma and that would be enough to get us as we take a one goal lead into the second leg and now in fourth place but Manchester City lurking we had a seven point lead already closed to now a one point lead so we had to get something here with cheeky cheeky stoke and we get the cheeky chips right there but as you can see Unfortunately, the pretty goal is offsides right there, and it was always going to be tough against Stoke, and we are not able to get anything away from home. Stoke, a very, very tough defensive team in real life, and uh, it showed, it showed in the game right here, and now we're into the second half. Yeah, pretty much nothing happened in that first half, but do I have a second half for you to do this? Look at this. So much pace. Pajnak getting it over the top. Stewart Dover dribbles it, and it, we're able to only knock it as far as Pajnak. And again, oh, finds Dumbia. And oh my goodness. The maids, man. The... You know me. I'm not a rager. I'm, I'm a peaceful man. I'm a man of peace. I live in... I live in California. What can I be that angry about? The weather's beautiful out here all the time. Very beautiful out right now, but I was throwing my control on the floor so many times during this episode. Just so many derpy moments. So many FIFA's moments, man, that I was I was about to give up hope. But then a pirate appeared. A pirate appeared with a great man with a great beard. And he brought hope. He brought light where there was darkness. And that man was Victor Ibarbo. Look at that majestic man. Look at that majestic man. And as you can see right there, <laughs> I basically go and wall install once more. Going to go ahead and push everybody back, pushing the two central um, mids into CDM positions right in front of those uh, C uh, right in front of our center backs. And moving here, it came back into a cam position so I can come back and help. But of course, not in the minute. <gasps> <laughs> oh my goody goodness the only solace that i have in this is that it's the 90th minute and we are away so these two goals count as home goals so we're still ahead barely on aggregate because we got the away goal but can you imagine if this happened at kennywith and this is how we went out guys the aids of this episode man i can't I just, I just can't sit it. It's, it's too hard. It's too, I can't take it ever. But we do advance, we do advance, guys. And now we have to focus. We really do have to focus up against West Ham in 19th place because we have really been straggling this episode in the BPL. Can we get ourselves, can we get ourselves a goal right here? And look at this masterful one by Kim Su Beam. The laser beam, our left back far is away, but it is... Ah, unfortunately parried away and that would be our best chance in the first half and then it would be West Ham on the attack flips it over and beautiful beautiful passing West Ham freaking Barcelona's me to death oh my goody goodness look at that passing look at this beautiful vision our defender out of place great diagonal dink over there but then we are in right here and we get taken down oh my goody goodness that is pretty much the only way we can score in this career mode. And a red card in the 88th minute. We are bailed out for the longest time. West Ham was just basically wall installing us in. But we are able to finally break through. Get ourselves right here. And we need this. We need this crucial point to salvage this game for us. Can we get a point out of this trap game? Dominique Solank. Not exactly top right. But I will take it. It's third penalty of the episode. And we're able to salvage a point up against 19th place. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. And now we're up against Leeds. These are should be gimme games up against 19th place, up against 16th place. And now we're in fourth. And dangerously, dangerously, we have the same, uh, we have the same exact uh, points as Manchester City. And now we probably have less points than Manchester City as Leeds. And they're freaking, look at Adrian just getting up into the face of the German Bernhardt. And then we get taken down right here, but a Barbo is able to get onto that with his peaky pace. And then look at Ross Barkley, able to dribble around, gets it onto the noggin of Victory Barbo, and that is placed perfectly into the side netting. And once again, the pirate, Ibarbo, is able to bail us out of this one. Oh my goody goodness, great little movement, dragging four defenders with him, freeing it a one on one up to a Barbo, and he is winning that all day, all day, baby. And then we're able to win it right here 
And Dumasville is going to give it to Devontae Cole. Can he get something right here? He's uh, slowing it down. What does he do? He sweats it across to Dover. And the regen of Frank Lampard finally gets us a win, hopefully in the 88th minute. And this would be our fucking freaking frock. I said frucking. I didn't say I didn't say fucking. <laughs> we get our first our, we get our first fucking win in this episode. That's how frustrated I was uh, in this one, but woosa. Woosa, but unfortunately I've got a six stay calm! Stay calm, B minus, because now we are in fifth place. We've fallen from four points away from the title to now fading. We're pulling a Liverpool. We're just fading into the pack right now. And now we're in fifth place. As you can see, we uh, we have the same goal differential, the same amount of points as Manchester City, but they have uh, uh, they have less losses, which gives them the fourth place position. So it's going to be interesting, guys. It's going to be interesting. But here's the thing. Next match up against Manchester, uh, Manchester United. It doesn't get much easier as we go ahead and take a look at the calendar. Manchester United. Then we got Chelsea in the FA Cup. And then, uh, yeah, we have one more game. No, we have three more games in the BPL to determine if we will be playing Champions League football next season. No, we have two more games, so that is very crucial. And then we have the Champions League. We made it into the final. I totally cruised over that, but we are in the Champions League. Final, even though we were complete shit in the league, can we pull a Chelsea this year and have a magical, magical run and actually win the, the Champions League? I wonder what would happen if we get into fifth place and we actually win the Champions League. Would Does FIFA actually put us back into the Champions League next year? That is a good question. That is a good question that probably Reddit can answer. But anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this heckle and jai... Uh, uh, what am I talking about? <laughs> Dr. Heckle and Hyde episode. Dr. Jekyll and Hyde episode. I can't even talk anymore. I'm so sorry. Uh, yeah, amazing ups, amazing downs, an incredible run in both the FA Cup as well as the freaking Champions League. We're in the championship for both, but we're definitely not going to get the treble because we are far, far away from Chelsea, who's just pacing away from us in the uh, in in the Barclays Premier League. And we had some just atrocious ties and losses in the Barclays Premier League that have put us in a very precocious, very precocious spot, guys. Will Gareth Bale and Pogba and all of them be coming into Europa League football next year? That will not be something that uh, they will be all that happy about. But alas, guys, it, I'm saving it for the next episode. We got four games left in this season, two games to determine our fate in the BPL, can we finish top four? The FA Cup Championship up against Chelsea City and the Biggie. We got the Champions League final up against Borussia Dortmund. And if all things considered, I'm very, very happy it's them. <laughs> Come on, like them or Barcelona or Bayern Munich or, or Manchester City or any of the EPL team top four? All day, Dortmund. I am sorry, but maybe I will regret those words. Anyways, it's been your boy B minus. Hopefully, you guys are having an amazing day. If you enjoyed this episode, which was yeah, kind of ups and downs, remember to go ahead and smash it that like button. And yeah, uh, that is pretty much it. Um, and until next time, remember, stay humble. <laughs>